Hello, my name is Dr. Abram Burr. I am a homeopathic medical doctor practicing in Phoenix, Arizona for approximately 35 years, and I have been doing alternative medicine for 37 years. And I have been interested in parasites for that many years, in other words, for decades. And so much so that uh, in the 80s, I hired a Nigerian parasitologist in my office in another location, and he worked in my office for a while, and then he moved on. And then I came to know Dr. Omar Amin, who is now the only parasitologist I know, and who was very well versed, knowledgeable, and uh, interested in that field. Now, uh, parasitology is not accorded its rightful place among infectious diseases in the United States. In other words, if you have an illness, the doctor will consider a bacteria, a virus, perhaps even a fungus such as valley fever, but parasites are relegated to the bottom. And it's only and as an afterthought, if you have bowel problems like diarrhea, that they will test you and occasionally find something like Giardia. Uh, from my experience after uh, doing this work for so many years, parasites are extremely common. Uh, so common that I would venture to say that at a chronic low level, it is the number one infection that people had. And uh, so we know that uh, in ch school age children and little children are infested with pinworms. And uh, pinworms, I have an article written by an old physician that wrote about all the clinical symptoms of just pinworms, causing all kinds of nervous problems in children. But the pinworms that affect children also are infecting the entire household. And so when I treat a child with, for pinworms, I treat the entire household. Uh, parasites, as I said, are extremely common and extremely important. So it's not only because you have traveled to a foreign country. For sure, if you have traveled to Mexico or to India or to China, and you come back, you have some uh, symptoms, uh, you need to check for parasites, yes. But you don't have to travel anywhere. You can travel from your home to the closest restaurant right here in Arizona, and you'll pick a parasite from a food handler, or not even from the food handler, from the vegetable that wasn't properly and thoroughly washed. It's very easy to catch parasites. Also, very common uh, source of parasites is your pets at home. Uh, from the dog, I find very frequently. In fact, I had a recent case of a uh, patient on whom I, we discovered that the patient had Ascaris lumbricoides, or roundworms, and uh, I said, that's likely coming from your uh, dog. And she took the dog to the vet and came back and said, you're right, the vet found the roundworms in the dog. Uh, likewise, our s sweet little kitties that snuggle up and kiss us everywhere, and um, the kitties are loaded with toxoplasmosis. In fact, um, maybe close to 100% of cats, but a very high percentage of toxoplasma and toxoplasmosis um, can affect human beings. In fact, it's compulsory in France for a pregnant woman to be tested for toxoplasma. So I am telling you that parasites are not rare. They are simply overlooked. Why? Because we don't have trained parasitologists. So if you have a problem, and what is the doctor going to do? He's going to send you for a stool analysis to the hospital, to the closest clinic, and then who's going to look at that sample? A technician. 
with a rudimentary training. And you're lucky if they have a blood test that can test for Giardia or Amoeba, but generally speaking, those tests are usually normal because the person doesn't have adequate training. They don't have parasitology departments. I don't know what happened. Something happened, but uh, on the other hand, we are lucky that we have Dr. Amin. He's still functional. He's active. He's super intelligent. And uh, he helps many people because he is able to diagnose from the stool sample what a regular technician working in a hospital is unable to. Uh, it is very worthwhile to do a routine stool sample for parasites because you can have uh, parasites without any drastic symptoms. And then what happens when your immune system goes down for whatever cause, then the parasites that have been lingering in your body for a while, then they start to become active and can become invasive. One of the common parasites that that uh, we find here in Arizona uh, and also, of course, in Mexico is pork tapeworms from undercooked pork. And um, this is another major problem. So to sum up then, uh, parasites are something that everybody should be aware of. You don't have to be uh, in mortal fear that you cannot go out to eat. But uh, if you do go out to eat and then subsequent suffer with some gastroenteritis, don't think that it's only a virus or a bacteria. It could also be that you picked up a parasite, which is not going to respond to the normal antibiotics used for a bacterial infection.